I don't know. Uh, start with Kit, Kit Bomba. What do you think yes. about the entire series uh, for uh, the seven best of seven in NACT? Uh, can be honest here, right? Oh, yeah. Pff, yes, sure. be honest. Be brutally honest, bro. I don't know. It was every single game, there was a minimum of 20 misplays. It was hard to, I mean, it was high, hard to watch, but it, it was enjoyable, you know, but the quality of play, it was, I don't know, so bad. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> it was really so bad. I saw the edit missing every flicker first kill in the whole series, then, uh, I don't know, XP Lena averaging on six deaths every single game. <laughs> Other guy just picking a speedrunner to just win the lane, Uranus time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It was, it was fun to watch, though. It was hard. I mean, no I can ask that for, for Kid Bomba because honestly, looking at the, at the series as a whole, uh, like you said, a lot of misplays coming in from the entire team. And I feel like going up in MSE where the prize pool is 3 million USD, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to give their best. And yeah. I don't know. I feel like MOBA Zine is fine. Uh, I believe their mid laner Mark Cutie is also pretty okay, but what do you think in general? Does the team have a good chance in MSC? And if right now they're not good, what do they need to improve on? It's a question for me? Yeah. Yes, for you. Uh, right now they can maybe not even make it out of groups. Cause good, good, the... good, good to hear. <laughs> Because <laughs> like it's the same format as an M5, right? The last two teams of the groups fly out, uh, just go out. Uh, well, then right now they don't have a chance of making it out of groups, I think. And if they boot camp in the Philippines and they train well enough, then they can make it out of groups. And I don't know, maybe it can be the first time that NA gets a top six placement again. Of course, if they're in group with me, obviously they're gonna lose. But oh, what can I say? Yeah, okay. obviously, obviously, yeah. Just you like know what? last time. On that note. On that note, that, that, that's perfect. That's perfect because that segues into, you know, James mentioned a, a certain player, you know, earlier. He likes the XP, Milo. he likes the, the offlaner, Milo, <laughs> right? And, you know, a lot of people say he's the GOAT, but he, just recently on my stream, he actually came, interview. Uh, we were talking about things and I asked him about your watch party. So this is the, the whole full circle from what we did earlier. Watch party. If you guys don't know, this guy is an amazing, like, streamer as well i i love the watch party by the way i watched like clips of it uh everywhere and i saw what you what you said about the teams and i asked him about it because you did say you know mark Cutie is very good mobus is very good but all the others they need to be they need to improve a lot and you already said it as well earlier but then milo said yo listen i like that i appreciate that you know you're it's cool that you were supporting us but when i meet you you're gonna get gapped right so so I just want your response to this, Bomba. I just want your response because now there's a little bit of beef now with Team Spirit and BTK, and I'm all in for it, bro. I don't know how an experience like averaging on six deaths can lift me, but that's it. <laughs> oh, man, okay. That, that, that was simple. Not even in regular, not even in regular season, in the grand finals. <laughs> oh, man. I, I can't wait to actually talk about this yeah. in MSC, you know? What if, if Bom when Bomba call qualifies, if Bomba qualifies, and then you know they all obviously do meet later. I mean, oh it's all. God, I is... mean, I really think that he's. I mean, the experience was actually not bad in M5 and the NCT Grand Finals. He played very bad, in my opinion. But in M5, I said he didn't play bad. He was actually good. He was like the, the second best or the best player of GG, uh, not GG of TOB. And yep. even I, I was good with Mobazain. I was like talking with him a lot over Instagram. Even I told him, "Hey, get this guy instead of Right Chicken. He's probably better." So I'm happy they're in the team right now together because I even said, just get him. He wasn't bad in M5. Kind of disappointed with yeah. the Grand Finals performance, but I hope he steps up in MSC and yeah, that's it. I love that, right? Like there's a bit of trash talk, but then, you know, they, they keep the love. They, they still, they're still there. There's a, a, outside of competition, they're still really good friends, I believe. You know what I mean? Like they, they respect each other at least, right? LaFell, it's, like me and you. It's the opposite yeah. of us. It's the opposite of it's, us. I mean, exactly, how can I not right? respect them? They, they, uh, they won the game versus homeboys, right? Oh, <laughs> dude. And then, like, <laughs> and then we got into playoffs no. without any problems. But I mean, if we had, we could have fought uh, Geek Fam in the best of one. I think we would have won them that too. But yeah, I mean, it was yeah. easier to just get go through the playoffs. See, it's poetic. So I gotta it's thank them for that. Because 
Lofel had to introduce the team no. that knocked him out and the no, player listen. that knocked him out, like that knocked Malaysia Li out. He introduced you and then he introduced NA, you know, BTK, no, listen, Valley, listen, all like, that. Dude, like when, when I agreed to this, I agreed to be a host, not a victim. <laughs> <laughs>